Hello, welcome to Diva's Paradise, a wonderful world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Diva. I just wanted to talk to you about a fabulous new product that I have got my hands on to. I could not wait. Um, as you know, as, I mean, I'm a freelance makeup artist, and I was badly in need of lipsticks for my kit. I was very excited to hear that Makeup Forever came out with some lipsticks and it's called Rouge Artist Intense, okay? Supposedly they're very, very pigmented. Actually, when I first saw this, I saw this in the Sephora catalog that came to my house. And um, I was, you know, really itching to try them. They didn't have it at my local Sephora. So I did run into my Makeup Forever store that's here in the city on 12th Street and I bought me some lipsticks. Can I tell you I love, love, love them? When I say they are pigmented, they are pigmented. I mean, it feels like it's really going to stay on. This right here happens to be a cocktail. I was fooling around at the store. Um, this is a combination of two lipsticks. It's a gold, and it's really gold looking. I didn't purchase it, and I have, I'm having regrets, so I am going to go back and get it. And this is a red, okay? But anyway, let me show you what they look like. I did swatch them on the back of my hand so I can show them to you. So this is going to be a very brief... Um, review. I love these lipsticks. The packaging alone, I'm a sucker for good packaging. Beautiful. Okay, it's a square sort of a tube. The first color, this is number 15. It's a vibrant purple. This is the swatch for it right here. Can you zoom in? Do you see it good? Okay, so this is the swatch for it right here. I love that. Um, I have different kind of shades in my kit. Okay, the next color we have is a nude. Okay, it's number 23. It's a satiny texture, but like I said, it's so pigmented. That would be this color right here. I don't know if you can get that. You can't really tell the color. You can't really tell. All right, but that's this nude right here, all right? Then, number 33. This is a pink. This is a pink. That would be this one right here. I don't know if you could see that, all right? When I say these are beautiful, first of all, they retail for $19 each. But I can easily see this lipstick lasting you a good while because it is so pigmented. Um, this is number 36, which is more of a fuchsia sort of a pink. All right. The next shade I have swatched is number 40. This is orange. Now, I know a lot of you like orange lipstick, but once again, I said I'm a makeup artist, so I can use this on whoever I choose to use it on. Who knows? Maybe I will do a look using the orange. You never know. That's this one right here. I put this in an awkward spot, okay? But, once again, very pigmented. I love them. Did I say I love them? Yes, I love them. This is number 42. Now, reds are, you know, some of my favorite lipstick. This is kind of like an orange-based red. That's this one right here. Myself, personally, I, on my complexion, like a blue-based red, okay? So you really should stay tuned because I will be doing a video of some of my favorite reds because I know a lot of you are like, we can't wear red. Yes, we can. My big, full lips and all. Now, this is a very pretty red. This is number 46, which is this one right here. It is a blue-based red. Very, very pretty. I'm, I'm definitely seeing myself using this in a tutorial coming up because I know most of my looks, the lips are very neutral. And last but not least, I have number 50. I didn't really need a black lipstick, but I bought one anyway, obviously. Very black, very pigmented, very intense. Okay, now do remember I do have the OCC Lip Tars. Now, I know those cost about $12 each, I think. Um, those are satiny. I can see those lasting a very long time. Those also are pigment rich. But I guess this one, just because it's in a stick, very portable. I mean, the, the, the lip tar is also very portable. But let's say I like both of them. How's that? I like both of them. But these, definitely, I am in love with these lipsticks. Very pigmented. So if you haven't tried them, um, you might want to try them. I did pop into a Sephora at um, Union Square. They have them there. They don't have all the collection, but they do have some there. Makeup Forever pretty much has, like, a big collection of colors. They're, like, about 40-something lip shades, I would say. I'm not, don't quote me on it, but it's a, a large collection. But I do anticipate going back because I am going to get a lipstick palette and I'm going to use these to fill up some lipstick palettes. It's just what I need to take with me on a shoot, especially when I'm photographing, um, 
the colors won't wash out with the you know with a lot of flash but anyway that's all I wanted to share with you um stay tuned and keep watching oh on my eye by the way just in case you wanted to know I happen to actually buy the makeup forever waterproof eyeliner it just comes in a little vial like this no brush or anything like that so you would have to have an eyeliner brush I happen to have an eyeliner brush my lovely vintage Mac number 25 brush it says made in France <laughs> so I don't even know if Mac still makes their brushes in France by the time when I bought this book this brush my daughter was an infant so this is the 90s okay but anyway it's the waterproof eyeliner that's what's on my eye. I'm fooling around because like I said I do have another shoot on Sunday so you know you kind of fool around and play and kind of get an idea of what you might want to do okay so that's all I wanted to share with you this green liner below is by Urban Decay I believe the color is called Covet I have not purchased it yet but it's definitely on my list of things to buy and I will be going back for some more lipsticks especially this nice shimmery gold that's in the middle anyway thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't done so please feel free to do so and stay tuned until the next episode bye